Folks, what is up and welcome back to the finale of Apollo Justice with an actual lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Hi! Our guest voice actor, Nezumi. Probably not voicing anybody today, but I'm still here. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> and our actual lawyer, Pridge. Hey folks, if you like what we do here, it would be great. Uh, be, please be excited for tomorrow. We will be uh, releasing the Justice for All Greatest Hits. Uh, it is a four hour long video. And then, hey, guess what? Tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, same time as this, uh, we're gonna be doing the continuation of the poorly translated Ace Attorney doing case one, two. Yeah. Uh, again, shout out to Emerald Fluffy for putting that together. And hey, also, in case you didn't know, on our YouTube channel, uh, we just put up the fashion rating stream where me, Chris, Jason, and my girlfriend, Ty, ranked uh, a bunch of fits in the Ace Attorney franchise. Uh, hey, right now, it's doing really well. Uh, so if you haven't seen it yet, please go do so. Yeah. Because uh, it was genuinely really funny. The reactions have been great. Uh, you're all the best. We love you. And hey, if you wanted one other way to support us, head over to patreon.com slash team. Get a bunch of bonus content there, including the $10 level and above, getting your name included in this Patreon song. Thank em, thank em, gotta thank em all. Gotta thank em all our Patreons. Burger Bun, Mr. Cola Bun, Eddie Cosmo, Cud, Dave Hall, Lucha, and Sofino. HSM, Earn Less, Taco Sensei, and Alistair Logano, 1JFJ. Which Tower, Tower Kevin Asian, Selfaria, Arky, Forensic, Becknick, Cola, Vira, Mystic, Woody. Leprechaun, Jacob Bell, Crimson, Chrissy, Shepper, Steen, Riger, Rilla, Joe, Leave, Soul Masters, BBC, Watt, and Sherlock, Mr. Mercosil, Art, Ami, Borshock. <laughs> Plethora of penguins and who needs to sleep away, ya yakta, est ever entropy, shattered navi quill and maho stars, the driver, 458 tasty marbar. Jack Warner, Resurrect Press, Chrome Knight, who chose it, and the key is to the chest, to JC Foxy Tim. Dessert Boy Man, Elijah Sly, Rick Rat, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Conjuring Scribes, Yale Croissant, Fulfilla, Written Word, Shade the Punisher, Sevilla. Thank him, thank him, gotta thank him all, gotta thank him all, our Patreons. Let's get back into the game. <laughs> oh, good, you're oh, finally oh. awake. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to court. This isn't court. This is. This isn't is court. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the, the bad end of that one Five Nights at Freddy's game. Where's no, this spring is, trap? This is a, this Digital is Ace Attorney trap. recoded. <laughs> oh my God! The Mason system was to allow Phoenix to take over your brain this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the ending. Of, dot, fuck that game entirely. <laughs> this, is dot, this is dot hack Ace Attorney. Wow, a dot hack reference in 2024. <sighs> you know what? I, you know what I'm about. Mm -hmm. Seven years, <laughs> all leading to one verdict. A verdict which you must decide. Is the defendant, Vera Mission, innocent or guilty or poisoned? Uh, well, she's definitely that last fine. thing. <laughs> the, courtroom doors are, uh, the courtroom doors are opening. The trial awaits. Are you ready to begin? Nah. No, wait, oh, wait I wasn't ready. <laughs> the gate is open. The doors bolted shut. <laughs> Something inside Something me. Inside me. <laughs> Rising. Surfacing. I, I assume this is Apollo. Mm -hmm. Probably. Oh yeah, that guy. <laughs> oh yeah, remember this game's about him. Who is that again? What the fuck's an Apollo? <laughs> Something important. <laughs> Lost long ago. It's so close now. So close. Ah, uh, shit. 
Court is now in session for the trial of Vera Misham. <clears throat> the defense is ready, Your Honor. Prosecution's ready to rock. Prosecutor Gavin, how is the defendant, uh, Vera Misham's condition? Kind of feels oh, like yeah, we should be having Dad? this. It kind of feels like we shouldn't even be having this case right now, you know. Just incredibly dead, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> Acute atroconin poisoning. According to her physician, she could die at any time. Thus, her absence from the courtroom today. No way. What? <laughs> <laughs> Say what? They can't put her on trial without her being here. It is unusual. It is definitely a thing they shouldn't do. Truly <laughs> is your <laughs> They should wait for her to get better and do it then. <laughs> it's so unconstitutional of them. <laughs> like what's a, what's a constant violation of your rights? <laughs> what's a constitution, Trucy? <laughs> That's being a little harsh. I can't delay the trial any longer. Are you talking about the Japanifornia Magna Carta? <laughs> <laughs> yes, risk that one. Or they risk having no one left to try. I mean, again, if a person dies, who gives a shit? Right. That's an even better reason to to, to stall it. <laughs> What's the point if she dies? We're all just <laughs> wasting our time. <laughs> A trial without a verdict can only cause grief. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> the records of this case and experience tell us this. Haven't you been in like four whole cases, Clavier? <laughs> no, Isn't no, that right, anymore. former President Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> uh, Prosecutor Gavin, are you all right? <laughs> yes, I'm. Perfectly fine, why do you ask? Apologies to the defendant, but the show must go on. Right. If Vera dies, the trial will be cancelled. I'm not going to let that happen. Mr. Wright told me everything that's been going on behind the curtain all these years. Except who my sister is. I'm going to get Vera her innocent verdict while she while there's still time! If Vera is convicted, then the trial will be cancelled, and then so will she, permanently. <laughs> <laughs> she won't be able to get on social media after she wakes up! And that's no! the ultimate crime. <laughs> Very well. Your opening statement, Prosecutor Gavin. Even though the trials are- Can you have a second opening statement? Or is no. it just considered a different state, like a statement at the it's beginning of trial? It's just a statement. You, you, you'd, go back to, you just, you'd go back to where you were in the case. <laughs> <laughs> the prosecution's case is unchanged by recent events. Why did Vera Misham succumb to poison? <laughs> nice. Because she was poisoned. Because she couldn't live with the guilt of what she'd done. What? What? Objection! That's not how poisoning she... works. <laughs> but... but it wouldn't have worked if, if, <laughs> as you can see by this updated autopsy report, a true one <laughs> only worked against the guilty. <laughs> but Vera was poisoned with the troquinine, the exact same poison that took her father's life. What better confession could you ask for? Well, presumably one where you actually confess? <laughs> <laughs> Being the killer, she would, have had, she would have had access to the poison. Significant, since it's rather hard to come by. That is true. I wasn't paying attention, but <laughs> you sounded confident in what you were saying. In other words, I see no need for further discussion. We could have had our verdict yesterday. Well, Mr. Justice? No! 
If you have no objections, I see no reason to postpone a verdict. Your Honor, I have several. <laughs> what we need to worry about isn't the verdict, but the trial itself. Defense... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Defense, but you didn't answer in the form of an objection. <laughs> She's guilty. <laughs> <laughs> the defense holds that the the defense holds that Vera Misham is the victim and not the killer. If that's so, then you have to prove something. She was in court giving her testimony before us. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like I. My head cannon is that's the sound that made is the creaky, creaky door. door. <laughs> yeah. How do you propose her killer poisoned her? Again, remember a choquinine takes like fifteen minutes or something, bro. Like it's not rocket oh, science. Oh yeah, I re I remember I remember this twist. Oh, and incidentally, it would be nice if you told us who her mystery killer was. Devil yeah, well, about that. <laughs> The prosecution's objection is sustained. I don't think you want me to tell you who the killer was, Clavier. <laughs> <laughs> Be this careful what you here. wish for. Do you have a high opinion of your brother by any chance? <laughs> Just asking <laughs> for a friend. <laughs> I ask the defense to prove its claims to this court. Tell us how Vera Misham was... Poison. Yeah, why is that in quotation marks? <laughs> As if her body didn't just do that. Yeah, she <laughs> poison. She keeps on really I've got two things to prove here. Who did it? And how? Which to hit first? Well, we know who. I don't know the how yet, so... Yeah. Do the who. Start with the who. Yeah. My favorite, my favorite who band. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Just who poisoned Vera Mission? I have a name for you. Ah, so it was Mr. Who. Mr. Just Who. <laughs> they so find mean, Just Who. <laughs> you mean the band, the who, collectively poisoned her? <laughs> Why did they do that? <laughs> Just a moment, Herr Forehead. You are aware this is an accusation you're making. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I do this every time. Risk. I think a bit of risk is in order. This much, to be precise. <laughs> I understand. No problem. I know what I'm doing this time. Then let's hear it. Who poisoned Vera Bishop? Oh, well, it's convenient. They wait, started me there. Wait, they did? <laughs> uh yeah hey i really really am excited to see this reaction but well here we go yeah watch this christoph gavin Objection! what's your game my my bro <laughs> bruh <laughs> My bra. Bruh. My bro. There's no way he could do a thing like that. I mean, he is in uh, jail for murder. For currently. murder. So. <laughs> <laughs> you should know that better than anyone else. Oh, they're saying it's because he's in jail. Yeah, it's hard to jail him. It's hard to poison someone from jail. Oh, it's so... <laughs> but I like the idea that he's like, he would never kill anybody. <laughs> he's such a good guy. Come on. And <laughs> Clavier, he's in jail. What? I didn't hear about that. <laughs> I haven't talked to him in a while. Oh, so that's why he hasn't right. been calling me. I've been, I've been too busy just smelling my own shit. <laughs> Indeed. He is... he is behind bars. I know. However, that doesn't mean it was impossible to do what he did. What? Oh, I know how he did it. Christoph Gavin had the opportunity to poison Vera Mission. Apparently, the defense has something in mind. Let's see what it is. 
How did Christoph Gavin, currently in solitary confinement, poison her? I mean, it's got to be the nail polish. The second this extremely nervous girl bites her nails, boom, she's fucking dead. <laughs> I think the only shocking thing is that it took this long. <laughs> yes, see, that that was actually going to be my point of contention. <laughs> like, girl's been biting her nails every day since she came out the womb. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love Vera Mission, but I do not believe that she has not bitten her nails before this moment. <laughs> Watch this. I what a beautiful bottle. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> Judge, no! <laughs> Judge, yeah! Finally! <laughs> Finish the whole thing! <laughs> Grandpa, no! <laughs> Grandpa! It's up to you now, Wes. Take my deck and beat Christoph Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> I was really confused what you were doing there until you said deck. I, I recognized the intonation on Grandpa yeah. for yeah. some reason, yeah. and I was like, what yeah. is this again? Grandpa! 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 That was, that was hey, pretty so good. Did your it. grandpa die? Did your grandpa get sent to the Shatter Realm again, you? <laughs> Come on, you. It's the, it's the. I forget that that voice actor's name, but it's the way his young Yugi says, "Grandpa." Yeah, that's really so that's really spot on. Actually. Yeah, it really is spot on. <laughs> Wes, he turned me into a mime. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to give whoever designed that a hand. First off, that's funny. Secondly, Chrono Wizard says, Grandpa Judge never has any useless cards in his deck. <laughs> Wait, his deck's just... Quick. Wait, his deck's just 30 copies of the card Judge Man? <laughs> you can't even play that without a sacrifice. His deck literally can't operate. And then one copy of the card Fuck Clown with a picture of Mo stapled to it. Oh, Jesus. Is that nail polish? It's colorless. Oh. Something the matter? No, nothing. Nothing at all. So the killer put poison in this bottle and made her drink it? As Prosecutor Gavin has told us, this is nail polish. Wait, I just drank it! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> nail polish? What it's is like that. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's like paint, but for nails. Know any women with red nails? <laughs> ah, my <laughs> wife has red nails. I see. So she's been painting them all this time? Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, that. <laughs> That's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> I just feel so much sympathy for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Judge yeah. Wes, tell grandma, your grandma I'm grandma. so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Let's recall yesterday's trial. Remember when Vera was testifying to the court? Court is now back in session. Court is back. Back again. Vera seems pretty tense. She's practically chewing her fingernails clean off. Remember, Remember when Vera... I said that? It's relevant now. Whenever Vera became nervous, she had a habit of biting her nails. Her nails? Ah! Prosecutor Gavin, when the prosecution had Vera examined, did they check her nails? Well, I... Bailiff, have them check the defendant's nails at once. See if they are indeed on fleek. 
Christoph Gavin didn't have to poison that bottle the day of the poisoning, Your Honor. The moment Vera first held that bottle in her hand, her fate was sealed! Assuming she chewed her nails. Yeah. <laughs> but wait! This business about Christoph Gavin giving her that bottle is only conjecture. It's simply inconceivable! Assuming she never bit her nails and she never touched anything that she ate with her nails. I mean, <laughs> and she never put her mouth on anything that her nails touched. I, listen, I never use my hands to do anything, so this seems pretty plausible to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all know that Zach has monkey nope. feet and Stop. uses his feet. For nope. <laughs> I didn't know what you were gonna say, but I knew I wasn't gonna like it. <laughs> Prosecutor Gavin doesn't seem to think so. Objection! That face tells me one thing. I want to kiss it. Christoph <laughs> Gavin's own younger brother doesn't find it inconceivable at all. Well, Prosecutor Gavin, does your brother be like that? <laughs> If you feel there is a clear and pressing danger need here, a clear and present danger yeah, a clear here. clear and present danger. Yeah, okay, good. Then we may have to summon Exodia, <laughs> the forbidden one. I love that we, we, can't, have... we can't get away from making Yu-Gi-Oh jokes, even though I think only one of us played Yu-Gi-Oh, actually. <laughs> Chad, I appreciate the explanation. I forgot. You don't all need to tell me, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Nezumi. Nezumi! <laughs> yeah? Hey, Chad, do you want us to play Investigations 2 by any chance? Let us know. <laughs> and we may have to summon Christoph Gavin from jail as a special witness. Fine. I've known for some boy. time that an impenetrable darkness lurked at the bottom of this. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Wait, what? You were just you were just trying to get this case done with like five minutes ago and not even try anything. What do you mean you've known? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That sounds like you're uh, trying to purposefully force a verdict, C Clavier. <laughs> That's not a good look. A darkness. <clears throat> Is swallowed even myself. Okay. The defense's wish is good. Let prisoner Christoph Gavin take the stand! Bailiff, begin proceedings to call a special witness. The witness is Christoph Gavin, currently residing in solitary cell 13 at Central Prison. It's kind of wild that you know the exact cell that he's in. I'm not going to lie. It seems yeah, like something you wouldn't weird. know. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, spoilers, there's only one solitary cell, so... <laughs> but it's called number 13. But it's called 13, because <laughs> it sounds... For good luck. All right. Let's keep going. Let's play. Ah, your honor. How nice to see you again. It's been quite a while, hasn't it? To what do I owe the pleasure of your company? It's not every day I'm summoned from my solitary cell. In fact, it's never. Again, I love it anytime they give a character the anime glasses. Yeah. It's just very fun to me. Oh, swirly glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I think you already know, Mr. Christoph Gavin. Please, Mr. Christoph Gavin was my father. I'm David Chrysler. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mr. Justice. I hear you've been doing quite well, quite well for yourself. Uh, why do I feel like somehow he's still my boss? Step up a little, Apollo. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> hip, hip, 
Cheerio, Apollo. <laughs> Cheerio, Apollo. I was like, are you God doing Iris the- right now? God <laughs> save the queen and all that. No, he's doing Irish. Irish <laughs> <laughs> truthy. Does this bottle look familiar? Does this bottle look familiar? Ariadne nail polish. Coral blue number two. <laughs> Semi-gloss nail polish. Actually, it's coral blue number two. <laughs> <laughs> Why, yes, I use it myself. As did the late defendants, I hear. She's not dead yet! I'm not dead yet. <laughs> she is not yet dead! <laughs> that man is off his head. And? Was there something you concerning this bottle you wish to ask me about? You fucker. I admit, I respect her for her taste in nail polish. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> her taste, indeed. Good one, Apollo. This nail polish was how Vera Mission was poisoned. Yeah, it actually did taste pretty good. Judge, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. A, tro- a troquin. Was it? You're well informed about the case, Mr. Gavin. Even in solitary, much comes to my desk, and I have nothing to do but read. Well, Clavier. Dang. I, I did wonder what their dynamic was as siblings. It was yeah. kind of fun to see them both in the same room. Maybe you can explain this. You're being accused again. By him. Again. Ah. And? You agree with his accusation, do you? Uh, Don't talk to him like that, dude. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Let's hold a proper trial, shall we? Yeah, none of this this weird sibling pressuring (laughs) bullshit, please. (laughs) Christoph Gavin... Your testimony, please. I'd be delighted. The charges against you are quite severe, Mr. Gavin. You are suspected of the poisoning of the defendant, Vera Misham, who is, as is stated in the record, a blorbo. Please (laughs) testify on this matter to the court. Uh, Pritch, how many years uh, does poisoning of a blorbo uh, in in cure? All of them. (laughs) Blorbos must be protected. Even even after death, you're still under your sentence. (laughs) Think you can just poison a blorbo and get away with it? Uh... Really quick, let me read uh, one more donation. Mail and gifted a dollar saying, Remain Latouse. The witness is nail polish. She only <laughs> wears it outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's yeah! pretty good. <laughs> now, now, oh, we have to watch fuck, that ten times. Fuck. <laughs> one thing I will say about our community, y'all are usually pretty fucking funny with using the donations to like keep a joke going past when we wanted uh-huh. to and i respect that <laughs> out of you <laughs> <sighs> okay how'd you poison this blorbo you son of a bitch Bro, have we hit 700 viewers before because we're, we're pretty close. what no, no. Yeah, we're, at, we're at 660 right now holy damn. shit damn yeah, this yeah, is probably the highest concurrent amount we've ever had, so thank you all so much. Yeah. Wow. Owning the same nail polish does not a murderer make. I have been in solitary confinement for half a year. How could I poison her? Her father died of the same poison, the meaning of which should be clear. The prosecution's case holds... She poisoned her father, then attempted to poison herself. Surely, you aren't going to suggest I was responsible for poisoning her father, too. I'm explicitly going to do that, yes, actually. But could you not? Because I might get in trouble for that, and I don't know why. I'm already in jail. I I don't want to go to super jail. (laughs) 
Yeah, but I shouldn't just... have done that. <laughs> you think you can just pretend I didn't do this one? <laughs> do me a real solid there, Apollo. Hey, guess what? It's opposite day. Ha <gasps> ha. Well, I'm afraid the defense's claim is sounding rather unlikely. Naturally. For one, I don't even know the missions. Isn't that so, Mr. Justice? No. That's not true at all. Very well. Apollo, Mr. Justice, what did I say about doing the assault? Begin your cross examination. Apollo! <laughs> oh. I'm accusing my, I'm accusing Christoph Gavin, my ex-boss. Remember that time I bought you Baskin Robbins? <laughs> <laughs> you owe me. But I know he poisoned the missions. The question is, when could he have done it? Not to mention, why? Hmm. Oh. I also have this. We've got the. Yeah. <clears throat> Christoph has Usually a fun when hat. it's up, it means that you're supposed to use it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it has to be this one, right? That's that's what I'm like. The evil anime glasses pose. Especially because yeah. we know for a fact he also poisoned the fucking I guess we don't technically know, but like we know this motherfucker yeah. put that poison on the stamp. Um yeah, I'm, and I'm also I'm pretty sure I remember what his tell is. Mm. And let me let me let me it press for this sure first. is on this one. Both Vera and Mr. Mission were poisoned with a troconine. That really can't be a coincidence. Attention! The defense is repeating fallacious statements based on based on conjecture. The prosecution requests concrete, unambiguous proof of the witness's crime. Uh, objection sustained. Come on. Uh, the defense will please present concrete proof. Does Prosecutor Gavin seem strange to you? Stream strange to you too? Mm -hmm. It's like he's all grown up. I think that's how prosecutors are supposed to be, actually. <laughs> <laughs> he is acting different than usual. It has a lot to do with his brother Kristoff being in the room. You think? Damn. Well, let's make this testimony count, Apollo. Right. Quick and painless. My bracelet should do the trick. Okay, I'm questioning my ex-boss. His testimony seems watertight, but he's lying. I'm sure I'll be able to see something, as long as I focus. Yeah, let's get back to that statement and bracelet time. Uh oh, I'm feeling tense. <laughs> His eyes. God, are... your eyes, Jesus dude. Christ! It's cool that you get to see through the the glasses. To the okay, eyes. it's got to be her father. Where the fuck is it? Wow, it's so little. The fact that they break up poisoning her father, too, into two separate things. Uh, do you do something stupid with your hand? Yep! Perceive! Oh, he also has... Whoa, that's a cool effect, video game! Do you have a skull on his hand? He absolutely has what looks like a skull on his hand. Yo, spirit from Friday Night Funkin'. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> did you, Kristoff? Did are you actually the devil? I know Vera I was called say, you that. Did you like make a contract with a demon or something? <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, we've never seen this scar on him, I believe. No. Them working that and into it only this shows up. pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha! It was you who killed Drew Misham. A bluff worthy of your new mentor, Mr. Wright. Oh, really? But you see, I saw it. Right when you said, her father too. Your hand tensed unnaturally, and a little devil appeared to give me the news. 
am. Let's assume, for the sake of argument, that you saw me being tense. Oh my god, Kristoff, don't do the Ben Shapiro. <laughs> Hypothetically, for the sake of argument, that was tense. <laughs> what does that mean? Are all tense witnesses guilty? Uh, this is an argument we made earlier in this, in this series. Yeah, I mean, which yeah. Will... Oh, we're at seven hundred now. No Woo! way! Yo! Holy What's crap! What's up, everybody? Holy crap, Lois! Holy, holy, Hi, holy everyone. crap! Oh my god! <laughs> This reminds me of that time we had 700 viewers. Yeah, we had 700 viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. This is crazy. Yeah. That's genuine. That's just so many people to be watching live. Holy shit. Yeah, that's that's our probably yeah. That is oh, the highest. Oh, that's definitely our biggest concurrence ever. Y'all yeah, the best. Yeah, Holy shit. So cool. Yeah. And tell me, was Drew Misham fond of nail polish too? Sorry. There's more than one way to poison a man. You don't need nail polish to get. <laughs> you don't need nail polish to get to someone's mouth. Wow. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Then I must be very talented indeed. <laughs> Phoenix in the in the crowd just like he was very it's talented. Like, <laughs> knees weak, palms sweaty. <laughs> you see, Drew Misham was killed on October sixth. While I was already in my solitary confinement cell at Central Prison. If that's not an alibi then I don't know what is. But you found a way, all the same. Kristoff finds a way. And I found it too. This is how you poisoned Mr. Misham. I mean, it's gotta be the fucking the, stamp, right? The, the stamp. <laughs> yeah, like we... Stamp. We knew that from the... Well, I almost said the last case, but earlier in this case. I'm sure this commemorative stamp requires no introduction. The night Mr. Misham died, he was seen writing a letter. A troquinine <laughs> was found on this stamp, Mr. Gavin. Oh, is that I don't know uh, why. true grammar? I love those guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I really want this image to be edited to make his frown even more pronounced. <laughs> like, Just the uh, uh, absolute sturgeon... Yeah. <laughs> so am I to understand this stamp, this stamp was the murder weapon? Yes, you are. Oh, and yes, this stamp was found in your prison cell. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I like that animation. Go, go. Someone signed his name in the death note. Oh, ba, 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 da, ba. That is all, Your Honor. I'll take one of my fingernails and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> order, order, order. Poison on the back of that stamp? After Drew Mission was killed, someone paid a visit to to this witness's cell. Phoenix Wright. Daddy? That's when he found what? the no. stamp. I'm not your daddy. <laughs> Trucy, he's dead, remember? <laughs> you made Drew Misham write you a letter. That's how you killed him. What? My, my. You've upset my poor brother to the point of uselessness. Dude. Jesus Christ, bro. Dude. <laughs> Allow me to clarify this matter, Justice. All you need to do is recall witness Spark Rushel's testimony. I'd rather not. <laughs> Can I please Fuck. not? <laughs> well, that's the thing. See, after he put his letter in that envelope, Mr. Misham sat there searching his desk drawer for, for something. Is 
Desk drawer? Yes, a stamp! A so-called postage stamp, end quote. <laughs> he was looking for a stamp. Ergo, he had no intention of using this stamp. God damn, we got we got two motherfuckers in this franchise that use the word ergo. 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 <laughs> Lego, my ergo. What are you getting at? What I'm arriving at is that... <laughs> the, the, the idea that someone is such an asshole that they correct someone's yeah. grammar. <laughs> what are you getting at? What I am arriving at. <laughs> oh, what a dick. What I'm arriving at is that this commemorative stamp was in a frame. It was mere coincidence that he used it that night. That would seem to be the case. Or perhaps you mean to suggest that I can somehow manipulate coincidence? No, you're not Nagito Komaeda. <laughs> Thank God. He does not have yet. a point. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen the two of them in the same room. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> How would this wit how would this witness know if the victim was going to use that stamp? Without that, he couldn't have planned the murder. What? Really, Clavier? You should be seeing through these weak spi these weak spined bluffs by now. He's right though. How could anyone have known Mr. Misham would use the stamp that night? Least of all, Christoph Gavin locked away in his cell. Well, it seems that the defense has run out of things to say. Uh, no, no. Uh, I'd like to say that, uh, you can get pretty good deals at Costco, Your Honor. Ready to go bundling your home and auto with Geico <laughs> can save you 15% or more. <laughs> you assume he had something to say in the first place. <laughs> Somebody please sponsor us. God damn. <laughs> please. I believe the defense's bluff has been called. Also, I'm retroactively changing a choice, an acting mm -hmm. choice. I'm going to get rid of Clavier's dialect for this section. Okay. Because it's fake anyway. And so if he's. Yeah, yeah, he could drop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it makes sense. Mm. The defense is bluff. I'm not sure I agree with you there, Christoph. Clavier. Honestly, I wanted to believe you. The defense wasn't trying to get away with a bluff. You were, Kristoff. Hell yeah. What are you saying, Prosecutor Gavin? <sighs> Hair forehead. Objection! What was your accusation again? He did it. Uh huh. Oh, <clears throat> it was that. This poison stamp killed Drew Misham, yeah? To which my brother responded thusly. There was no way to know when Misham would use the stamp. That's a pretty fucking good point, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah? Yes, that's right. Which is why it couldn't have been planned. Tell me, it needs to be planned? Why? Uh, Why couldn't it have been a coincidence? Defense's case is simply that Drew Misham died by that stamp. That's all. Coincidence? Christoph, you tried to slip out from under his accusation by changing the subject. If that's not bluffing, what is it? What are you up to? I could ask you the same question, 
Kristoff. <laughs> I silence the defense with the fewest words possible. It's called efficiency. But, but, Mr. Gavin, that's impermissible testimony! Ah, very well. I shall take his claim head on, then. And apply right, it directly to my forehead. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck that commercial. <laughs> Justice. What? You accuse me of Drew Misham's murder, yes? Then, allow me to ask you. What possible reason could I have to kill a painter? Apollo. Motive. He's talking about a motive. Yeah, Trucy, I know. <laughs> Indeed. It's hard to see how an attorney could come to want to kill a painter. He was a forger! No, no, I'm pretty sure that that was his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Here's something. Why didn't he bring up the motive from the very beginning? He was afraid it was a battle he might lose. So, what does it mean? It means there might be a weak spot. Maybe I have evidence that can prove a motive. A motive for murder. <laughs> this is a vital, if not the most vital, element in this case. Please consider this when making your statement. Let's say it's about this vital. Come over here, come on. Come here, you want us to win. That's why are you doing this? Pretty vital. I don't know what, I don't know what Clavier wants sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think sometimes Mr. he's Justice. just vibing. <laughs> That's true. If he can do anything, it's vibe. <laughs> Going through with this no matter what! Understood, Your Honor. I'd like to present evidence. Then, let's see what you have for us. What reason did Christoph Gavin have for wanting to murder Drew Misham? <laughs> Ever entropy in the chat says he's so sad that he can't think. Does that mean that Clavier is literally so gay that he he's... can't think? <laughs> 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 um, I mean, it's probably the notebook page. Because he had him forge this and then tried to kill them to close the loose end. Yeah? Is that track for everybody? It sounds right to me. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Christoph Gavin's motive becomes clear. We consider why the stamp came to Drew Misham's studio in the first place. And why was that? Forgery, Your Honor. Go back seven years. Drew Misham accepts Wait, his first. No! no! <laughs> <laughs> Drew Misham accepts his first job creating forged evidence. I've seen that before. A page from a diary, wasn't it? Magnifique Grammarie's diary! Ah, when attorney Phoenix Wright lost his badge, yes? This was the evidence he presented to his loss. This evidence is a fake, yes. But did Mr. Wright request the for forgery to be made? That was never proven! That was never proven! The defense attorney on that case was Phoenix Wright. Who, other than him, drunk with the prospect of victory? Who, other than him, drunk with the prospect of victory, could have done it? And why would they? Just out of curiosity, do you remember this letter? Objection! This is the first page, and this is the second page. And wow. this is the second! Yeah. <laughs> Damn. 
this boy can count. <laughs> and back, Einstein. <laughs> Those were presented in court yesterday. This letter was sent to Drew Bisham by the client who requested that forgery. The enclosed stamp was none other than the poison commemorative stamp. Drew Misham drew his last breath just the other day. However, <laughs> nice. <laughs> the motive for his murder was already seven years old. Oh, it's just a little thing. <laughs> Surely the motive couldn't have done it. It's only seven. <laughs> seven years old? The client who requested this forgery was very cautious. He tried to erase anything and anyone with connections to the forgery. To keep them from talking? But he made a mistake. The stamp was a picture of my favorite magicians, so I kept it. Father took me when I was very young. It was a great magic show. I loved it so much. The killer's time bomb was delayed. Wait, what? there's a bomb? <laughs> nah, we'll get to that later. The poison stamp <laughs> was sealed within a glass frame, where it sat for seven whole years. My man was literally like, Gotta poison a 12 year old. There's just no other way. Right! <laughs> <laughs> he tried so hard to poison this girl, and she was, she just was so oblivious for so long. <laughs> no, I, I'm curious. We don't have to figure this out right now, but does poison lose its potency? See, if it just <laughs> I did one for Years. I have wondered about this myself, um, yeah. and I think like really the only explanation you can give for this is just a troquinian is not a real life poison. It's made <laughs> specifically for Ace Attorney, so they can just say it right. is however potent they want it to be. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, it it was something that I was like, wow, that is a strong poison. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Her forehead. Do you understand what you're telling us? No, not really. <laughs> the one who schemed up the forged diary page was the one who poisoned the stamp. And it was Phoenix Wright who presented that forged evidence seven Objection! years ago. Adding the two statements together, the one who schemed to kill Drew Misham was none other than Phoenix Wright! No. Objection! Uh, no. Sorry, but that's not how this is going to go down. Oh? Then how will it go down? I checked through the records on that case when I found this. Seven years ago, just before the trial began, some idiot kid gave him the yeah. forged piece of paper. <laughs> and it's because of that kid that all of this happened. <laughs> Whoever that was was a real stupid asshole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm so glad I'm not related to them. Do we have to bring up this part of the case? Can <laughs> <laughs> we skip this? <laughs> um, uh, here. What's this? What's this? Forged evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, aren't you just the cutest Christoph thing? Christoph Gwavin gave it to me. He's the devil. Who's Christoph <laughs> Gwavin? <laughs> you mean David Chrysler? <laughs> David Chrysler told me to give it to you. He lives on Apple Street. <laughs> <laughs> they told me to give it to the old boy in the blue suit with spiky hair. <laughs> and one more thing. <laughs> Just one more thing. Sorry to have sprung this on you so suddenly. I perceived the files from your previous. I received the files from your previous attorney only yesterday. I understand. I'm asking the impossible of you. 
Yes, well, you haven't really told me what happened yet. All we did was play cards. And that was enough. <laughs> Phoenix Wright was put on the case the day before the trial started. He didn't have time to request a forgery. That's actually a good point that nobody brought up the, seven years ago. The day before? Now here's a question. Just who was Shadi Enigmar's previous defense attorney? No. Man, that really is a great thing that no one ever brought up. Kristoff, <laughs> <laughs> do you have any idea who it was? Damn! <laughs> <laughs> he really would not have been able to commission that forgery, would he have? No. <laughs> yeah, there there is an explanation for well, this, I guess, but I, guess the, I yeah. guess the point is that Zach commissioned it and gave it to Phoenix that day. Mm. Yeah, that would still I be guess, a good yeah, argument. Yeah, that's. I mean, that still works. Yeah. Yeah. No. This, this can't all be. But it is all true. Was another man, a defense attorney with a badge on his collar. It was you, Christoph Gavin. Order, order, order! W what is the meaning of this witness? I mean, defendant, uh, former lawyer. Let me begin by denying this. Objection! It's easy no. enough to look up, Mr. Gavin. Okay. Wait. Oh, yeah? Well, I have that Zoolander disease, so I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and impossible to prove if you can't. <sighs> Attorneys are registered with the court the day before the trial begins. See, yeah, this is where... In other words, no record remains in the court. Uh, it's that's... a little convenient in my mind, but it is an explanation. This, uh, Pridge, obviously you're not a trial lawyer. Would you know if there is like a record of who is assigned to each trial? I'd have to imagine that there is. Yeah, I feel like there would be. Somewhere. There has um... to be, right? I mean, I guess in a lot of filings, yeah, like your name's going to be on anything you have to you had to file for them. Uh-huh. Like, that's... A, I don't know if there's, like, a book that says, you know, he was representing him on this day, but, like... Yeah. Yeah, your name's gonna be all over any motion, document, deposition, interrogatory. I mean, your name's gonna be everywhere. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay. Well, and maybe... Because nowadays, there's, I'm sure, digital copies of everything. Yeah. Maybe in this future past world, they I mean... all have pieces... It's only pieces of paper. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't know about that one, Chief. It just, whatever. It, it's it's fine. Game can explain it away. Whatever. In other words, no record remains in the court. How exactly did you intend to prove Phoenix Wright's claim? Hmm. That would be difficult. I'm afraid this line of inquiry won't yield. Objection! Her forehead. Are you sure you don't have evidence? Oh, maybe we do. What's wrong with Prosecutor Gavin? He looks clammy. <laughs> evidence! What a weird aside that was. <laughs> <laughs> he looks clammy. <laughs> evidence that okay. chose this man. Christoph Gavin requested that forgery seven years ago. Clavier. Just prove it! Clear up these doubts now, or I swear I'm off this case! Ooh. He must have thought of some evidence, Apollo. Prosecutor Gavin looks like he's in physical pain. That darkness. I have to pull that darkness out of him. And proof is the only way I can. And the keyblade is the only way I can. Yeah. <laughs> Fellas, is it gay to pull the darkness out of your rival? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. As long as the darkness and the light don't touch. 
<laughs> Wait a minute, if he pulls the darkness out of Clavier, that means he can be gay without being sad. Oh! Oh my god, pull it out! <laughs> pull out the darkness now! <laughs> what proves Christoph Gavin's link to Drew Misham? Well, Mr. Justice, you claim Christoph Gavin requested a forgery of Drew Misham seven years ago. Prove it. It can be proven. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I sounded so confrontational about it. You know what? That that's that section was brought to you by ChatGPT. I don't know. <laughs> prove it. I don't it know why they had proven. AI. Yeah, I don't know why AI wrote those two sentences, but it did. <laughs> Simply ridiculous. Why even discuss it? This evidence does not- Objection! Are you telling the truth, Apollo Justice? I gotta say, Kristoff is like, just as an insane poker face in, in like everything that he's done. I cannot imagine that he was not able to beat uh, Zach Grammery in a game of poker. Because <laughs> Motherfucker can lie God. with the best of them. Like, stone Maybe cold. he just got bad cards. <laughs> he just got really unlucky. That's why he's lo he lost. Yeah. <laughs> well, I or maybe, Or maybe Zach Grammery is just so bad at poker <laughs> that there was just no way of predicting his moves. I am. Also, yeah, people are pointing out Clavier actually said Apollo's name for once. Oh, yeah. he did. No yeah. longer hair forehead. Oh, ben, I say we give him the benefit of the doubt. Very well. But if you're wrong about this, be prepared for a penalty. Again, the fact that it's only two is like still like kind of okay. whatever to me. Yeah. Well, it's because the game, it's because the series blew its wad on the second game. <laughs> yeah, being like, when you instantly It was lose. like, yeah, if you fuck up, you lose instantly. Your Honor, you do the defense and injustice. Mr. Justice is clearly passionate about his claim. Okay, no, they're gonna up it. <laughs> Should the penalty not match his passion? <laughs> oh, shit! I haven't given a penalty like that in a long time. Well, Mr. Justice? Wes, you shouldn't have said shit. This is the game listened to us. <laughs> no! The game heard you talking shit. Fine, Your Honor. All I have to prove is any kind of link. Something that ties Christoph Gavin to Drew Mission. And... <laughs> something that clearly does the job. It um, looks so good. Yes. Oh my. Thank yeah, you, Nerdy totally. Maria Mania. Oh, wow. These <laughs> puppet designs are incredible. Yeah, I, I fucking love these. And back with uh, some Nesmi and Chris puppet designs. Nesmi's design took two tries. Chris's took five. I love these. I love these so much. Hell yeah, Nerdy Maria Mania. Sebastian, okay. with some Nesmies as Volant and an animation of Volant. I might like Volant. Really adorable. Yeah. Uh, I love like both the different designs as well. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I didn't even play this 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 animation yet. So here we go. One, yeah. two, three. Elikaz, oh my god! <laughs> Yo, that's really good. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> Waddle with first time posting here. Welcome. I've been watching most of these journey videos, but I never get to watch them on stream because of time zones. Anyways, this comes from a roleplay I did with two friends. Whoa, so you're like a real magician? Why, of course I am. My god, you stole my fucking credit card. When did you get the pe when did the penny behind the ear trick? When did you do the penny behind the ear trick? <laughs> well, that money for the milk and cigarettes has to come from somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know the cost of milk and cigarettes these days? I I love like the little, uh, little drawings of these. These are really cute. 
Oh, oh yo! That's so cute too. That's super cool. Woo! Final episode day. Woo! I had a lot of fun re-emerging and making art for y'all again. Y'all are still as funny as I remember. Thank yeah. you very much, Sufu. Oh, this is so it cute. Genuinely meant so Super. much to see you like come back. So like, yeah, it, it, it's Super really one of the OG. Yeah, you were drawing art like, for us during the first game, and I remember that. This fucking art of Apollo. With, can you believe this was his game? I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Yeah. And yeah, it's us! Hey! Yeah! And Nesby looks so badass in that drawing, too. Mm -hmm. He's all rule! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo! Yeah, we found the RTM with this amazing, hilarious, emotional finale. We present Troop Save Data with special guest Nesby. This is my partner's favorite. <laughs> you know I mean? I can actually, and I can absolutely see why after this playthrough. Y'all helped me get through college applications and hella personal troubles. And these streams have always made my week. Thank you so much for such a great series. Can't wait for Dual Destinies. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Good luck with your college applications. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This and thank you for the art. It's really good. Uh -huh. I love yeah, like all of them. Are, like all of you are posed. Like in like the, the characters. Eyes. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, yeah. really cute. <laughs> I can just I can just hear the tee he coming from Prue. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. Tapicato with, hey, all this game's been a fun ride. Honestly, might be one of my faves in the franchise. Playthroughs and the video essays y'all have done with these games are so awesome, and I'm super excited to see where the next game goes. Wanted to submit some art relating to the finale, so here are two. I got lazy to draw them as humans again, but I hope this will do. Ooh. Yeah, this is so good. I love the Apollo's eye in this. is really mm -hmm. fucking incredible. <laughs> and just, like, the imagery <laughs> on that one. And then this... <laughs> God. So, Thalassa, heard you're splendiferously single now, Thalassa. <laughs> you know my favorite color is still green. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Also, making uh, her face the diamond is like... Oh Chef's yeah, that's so cute. Beautiful. Oh, really, really sure. good. Eric Beddington with Apollo Justice is a game I kind of have mixed feeling for, but I can't deny the facts that it has some of the coolest characters and one of my favorite finales. So in honor for it, I drew this asshole, the two protagonists, and the grammar grammaries in the style of playing cards. Yeah. I love this. The turnabout succession. Yeah. Oh yeah, and he's holding the cards too. Oh yeah. That is cool. Oh, and I love the the cards, like the top and the, the, the underside is... They're two, each of them has two different versions, which is fucking insane. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that is very cool. I like that a lot. Elvira with for the for possibly the last episode, 25 hours of work and several app crashes later, it's done. A little art of pre trucy group troop grammary featuring Thalassa as Alice, Zack as the Mad Hatter, Volant as the White Rabbit, character you haven't met yet as Cheshire Cat, and Magnify as the Queen of Hearts. I've literally been working on this since the time you started Succession. Yo! Wow! This is That's so good! Excellent. Yeah! Oh my god! The designs on these characters is so good! And like the texture on it, the, the detailing on the skirt. Incredible. Spook with, hi, it's been a while since I've been able to catch the stream, let alone make art, so here's a couple sketches. One and two are some trucies because I don't draw her enough. Oh, this baby trucy is so cute. <laughs> and a more adult trucy very cute as well luna with guess who's back it's me uh by process of elimination you can probably figure out by now that turnabout succession is the diamond uh i don't have a lot to say about this one honestly but looking at the comp compilation of all four of them makes me feel like the art has improved since i started if nothing else yeah hey i love this of like the diamond and the the, the bracelet and everything uh very very cool and yeah all of them next to each other, like, this is such a sick, like, compilation art project. Uh, you should be very proud of yeah. I like I like a lot of these designs. Yeah. Valduin with, yeah. Let's say for the sake of argument that my hand was tense. How could that possibly have anything to do with the person who poisoned Drew Mission? It could have been anyone, truly. Anyone. Who do you propose poison him then? Fucking Aquaman? <laughs> <laughs> always funny, yep. always good. Really good about doing. A TK with first night posting art for stream. Wow, mostly because it's Holy Week and I don't have to go to uni, uh, so I have time to draw. Often when I catch your streams, I'd be in my uni's canteen eating lunch. Filipino time zone moment. 
Anyways, congrats on finishing Apollo. Looking forward to Dual Destinies. Have a quick little Polly and Feeny. Yeah, very, very cute. Hell yeah, TK. Uh, thank you, thank you for setting in art. Thank you for watching. Glad you enjoyed. Uh, Light Tricky with Hey Y'all. It's my first time posting here. My first time catching a stream. I'm so glad I can be here for the finale. Been watching and laughing from the sidelines since last year, but only have I gained the courage to be active in this wonderful community. So I'm sorry to say my art is not apology justice related, but it is Ace Attorney. I have this crunchy quality Renaissance style digital painting I spent a whole day on of a collapsed fallen angel, Beric Van Zeeks, my problematic king. Ooh. That's really good. Wow. Wow. I love it, and like the feather, like so much negative space in this, this in this drawing, but like it it's really really good. Uh, Jingle Pickety with guys, guys gets which gets which Ace Attorney uh, Apollo Justice case is my favorite. Thanks so much for putting playing one of my favorite Ace Attorney games. I've been waiting for this since Greatest Attorney Chronicles. Uh, beat Apollo Justice in the poll because uh, this game has some of the best characters in the series, in my opinion. I made the full piece to celebrate the ending. I hope you enjoy. You guys are the best, and I'm super glad to be making art for stream again. This is really good. Uh, yeah. This is incredible, Jingle Pickety. Jingle uh, I love your Vera. Like the kind of like tired lines under her eyes is such a good detail. Uh, Clavier's face, like Kristoff, like handing her the nail polish as a kid. Uh, the drawing uh, of the many drawings like flying around. Really, really good. This is awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, wow. King Kieran. The disgraced lawyer himself, Christoph Gavin, is common writer Void, based off the deadly cone snail. I designed Christoph's suit off of Palin and Knight Armor to sell the suave, morally good facade, but factor in poison a la Clavier's scorpion suit and color yellow, associated color of betrayal. Yeah, I mean, this is really, I, I think I might like this is the most of all the designs you've sent in. Uh, all, the, all the details on this are really, really cool. Uh, the intro to redraw from last week, but without an obscured Christoph. Yeah, very, very cool. Yeah,